welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you are new, if you're returning, welcome back. First of all, I want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So today we're going to be doing the first cleaning video in this brand new house and I'm so excited to be doing it. The house is still a wreck. There is just stuff that needs to be unpacked everywhere. We officially got out of the townhouse a couple days ago and we have our garage filled with stuff. I'm telling you guys, there's stuff everywhere. Also, we still don't have a washer and dryer because of everything in the world going on right now. Everything is like super backed up and the washer and dryer that we purchased is back ordered. So I have laundry everywhere. We are like pulling clothes out of thin air, trying to make it just stretch until our washer and dryer come hopefully next week. And in the midst of all the chaos, I'm still trying to kind of like decorate and make this place feel like a home. So right now I don't have the kids. Andrew took them over to his parents' house and I'm gonna get some stuff done. We're gonna be cleaning, but we're also gonna be doing a little bit of decorating today. So lots of fun stuff. I'm starting in our master bedroom. I feel like my house isn't clean if my bed is not made. And it kind of reminds me of the feeling I have when I have makeup on versus when I don't. It just makes the whole day better. So. I'm going to start by making my bed and just tidying up our master bedroom. Making my bed is something that I used to do first thing in the morning after I rolled out of bed every single day. I had gotten into such a good habit and then we moved and I fell out of that habit. So that's something that I want to start doing again. And then as I got into tidying up my room, I just noticed how dirty my bedroom was. This mirror had been bothering me. It was really dusty and it had fingerprints and smudges from the kids' hands. So I started by wiping this down. And then as you see, it just kind of evolved into an overall dusting and vacuuming and all of that stuff in my master bedroom. So like I said a little bit earlier in this video, the house still needs to be decorated. Pretty much every single room, the kitchen, dining room, breakfast nook, living room, all of the bedrooms except for this one, our master bedroom is pretty much done. I had done it in our last house and I still really love this stuff. I just need to hang pictures above the bed. But other than that, oh, and the dresser. But other than that, it's pretty much done. Whew. But I still have so much work to do in the other bedrooms. And I want to confess something to you guys. Decorating does not come super naturally to me. I can do it and I usually love the end result, but it is like pulling teeth getting there. I'm just not a natural at it, but that's okay because there is something called Skillshare that I have been loving lately to help me learn how to decorate my house. If you've never heard of Skillshare before, Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Skillshare is a great place to learn new skills or just deepen already existing passions. A couple of categories of classes that I thought were very interesting to me. One was YouTube. There are classes for everything you need to know about starting a YouTube channel, being successful on YouTube, how to do thumbnails, graphic design, how to sit down and film a YouTube video. Skillshare is for people who are beginners or professionals. There's something for everyone. And that's why with that YouTube category, I'm excited, even though I've been doing YouTube for years now, I'm excited to go through some of those videos and just hone in on my skill. But there's also classes on other creative outlets. Photography I thought was interesting for me. That's something that I am a newbie at, but I would love to learn. Something I've also learned as a stay-at-home mom is that routine can get 
monotonous. And it's so nice to have something that's your own to be able to express yourself and kind of break up the monotony of the day by doing something that you really enjoy doing. And you can use Skillshare to explore workshops and classes on anything that you are really interested or passionate about. There's also classes on drawing, writing, journaling. All of these things can help manage stress practice mindfulness, and help us feel connected to one another through this community. So bringing this full circle, why I even started talking about this is because there is a whole bunch of classes on decorating and interior design, which is what I personally need some help with. I've actually already started going through a class on styling interiors for social media, which is like right up my alley. And it's really cool how they talk about not just like decorating a space, but decorating it with the intention of taking beautiful pictures that I can share with you guys. And I do have something really special for you guys. For the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description, you will get a two month free trial of premium membership for you to explore your creativity. All right guys, we are gonna get back into cleaning the house. I'm gonna move on into the living room and then we're gonna get into a little bit of decorating and I'm really excited about that part. I like to keep the diffusers going in our house. So I'm filling up the diffuser with Peace and Calming. That's my favorite oil for our bedrooms. It's just peaceful and it's calming and it makes the house feel really cozy. Moving on into the living room, I am just gonna pick up the kids' toys. Right after I filmed this video, I just said, forget it, I'm tired of these toys being in my living room. And we packed them all up and we put them in a coat closet, which is still on our main level. The kids can access that coat closet that is now kind of like the toy storage closet. And I really like how it looks a lot better having all of the toys and the clutter kind of out of sight if I need it to be. I'm also really excited to decorate the living room. It's not on my immediate radar because I have some other areas in the house that I want to tackle first, but I think it's going to be so nice to have just the mantle simply decorated 
and I want to get a kind of like an accent chair to go in the corner where the toys are right now. One thing that I do think I want to invest in is a steam mop. I've never had one of those before and there's a lot of hardwood floors in this house. Actually, the, the entire house is hardwood floor. So let me know you guys if you have a steam mop and if you recommend it, I'm very interested. I'm filling up the diffuser in my kitchen as well and this time I'm gonna go with a bright citrusy essential oil so I'm using citrus fresh it's just a blend of a bunch of essential oils but I like to have bright fresh clean scents going in the kitchen especially when I'm cleaning I got these touch activated LED puck lights from Walmart. You can really get them though from anywhere, Amazon, Target, I've seen them too. And they're only around 10 bucks for a two pack. And I'm gonna put them under the cabinets here. I'm gonna do two, I think, under this cabinet since it's larger. I've already put them under these cabinets right here. It's so easy because you can just, you can either screw them in or you can use these like double-sided sticky things, which is nice because if you decide to ever take them down or if you're renting, you can just go ahead and remove them super easy. But you just touch it and they turn on. And I love it, especially at nighttime because it really makes the kitchen feel really cozy. Oops. So that's kind of what they look like during the daytime. Here's how the under the counter lights turned out. It definitely brightens up the space and I love it. And I'll show you guys, I think maybe tonight, what it looks like when it's dark out. It really makes everything look really cozy. 
And then I do want to make this area look really cute. That's going to be a later date, but um, I want to make a cute little coffee bar area. So I kind of have this awkward space right here with the kitchen sink. And I don't know if you can tell, but this corner back here is big. There's just a lot of space. So I want to kind of figure out how to make this pretty, but also functional as our kitchen sink. Um, so I did go to Hobby Lobby, I've been to Michael's and Target as well, and I grabbed a few things. So I'm gonna kinda play around with the space and see if I like what I picked out. All right, so so far this is what I have. I think that I like it. It's just this little wooden, it's wood, so that might not last super long since this is like gonna be kind of watery with splashes and spills and things like that, but it's from Hobby Lobby. I thought it was really cute. And then on it, I have our hand soap and then our multi-purpose cleaner, and we use this a lot, so I kinda wanna just keep it out and in the open so that I can clean throughout the day. And then we have paper towels here, but for now this is the setup and I like it. I might eventually put something back here, something taller, but maybe not at the same time. I don't know, we'll have to see. And then over here, I am gonna redo this area as well as that area. And I think I have a vision for what I want. I'm not really sure. Sometimes when you see things on Pinterest, it's pretty, but it's not necessarily practical and functional. And so I don't love that our knives sit out on the counter, but we use them all the time. So I don't know. <laughs> I could totally see myself buying stuff to decorate and then end up not using it, not using the decor because it's not functional. And then this area, I like my diffuser there, but I think I might move the diffuser over near the sink over here. I'm gonna play around with it and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Almost two years ago, I ditched all of the household cleaners that I had under our kitchen sink. There were so many of them, and I ditched them because they're not good for you. They have fragrance and chemicals that are just not good for me or my babies. And so I switched it for this Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate. I get it from Young Living, and once I made that switch, I have never looked back. I feel really good using it. And I have a link in the description box if you guys wanna get some for yourselves. I definitely recommend getting the starter kit. It is the best deal for sure. I also added some lemon essential oil to our bottle that we keep in the kitchen because lemon is really good for cutting through grease. So these next shots I actually filmed a little bit later in the day and that's why I'm in a different outfit. But I wanted to set up this little corner in the kitchen. I had picked up this little book stand or easel from Hobby Lobby and then this cookbook is the Magnolia Table one, the second version. And I actually really like how this little corner turned out. I've always wanted to display one of my favorite cookbooks on my kitchen counter. I, I just really like the way it looks. So when we moved into this house, these curtain rods were already up here and I actually really like them. The rod itself is a wood look and then there's like kind of like a basket weave pattern on the end. So I really like it, but I had kind of a hard time figuring out like what size curtains we needed. So we measured it. They're 108 inch curtains and I looked on Amazon and they actually sell 108 inch curtain. So I really like the curtains, but they are too short. And so I asked you guys on Instagram 
if you had any ideas for me and here's what you guys came up with. So many of you guys said to add ring clips and that's what we're gonna try right now. We're gonna take these curtains down and put the ring clips on. I do really like the way it looks all kind of like bunched up on the curtain rod, but I do not like how short they are. So we're gonna give this a go and see what we think. But these are a off-white linen type material and I think they're really pretty and they're really inexpensive too. So I'll just go ahead and tell you guys, I didn't even finish filming, but I wanted to include these clips because I wanna include you guys in every part of decorating this house. But after Andrew put the clips on just one of the curtain panels, we knew right away that we did not like the look of them. I didn't like the way they hung. It just kind of made them look a little bit cheap in my opinion. So we are gonna go with a different plan. I'm not sure what that plan is yet, but I will let you guys know once I figure it out. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed. You can follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch and make sure you guys check out Skillshare. I have that link in the description box below. And remember the first 1000 of my subscribers to click that link will get two months free of a premium trial with Skillshare. All right, I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.